Everybody, this is Brad from the Real Housewives of New York City, otherwise known as Jill's gay husband. And I'm here in Los Angeles with a very special friend of mine. Her name is Julianne Rhodes. She uh, is Jules from the Roving Stove, as you may know her. And if you don't, you need to, so you need to Google that and get that all together. She does an amazing blog, which is about her glamorous life, and it's also about food and great tidbits and recipes. I heard that you uh, are writing a book. I am. I'm very excited about it. Really? So what's it about? It's basically teaching the home cook to do for themselves what I do for my clients, which is to cook a week, two weeks, a month's worth of food in advance. Right. Okay. So the dinner goes from fridge to table in as little as five minutes on busy weekday nights. So, just to give you a little bit of history, Julianne used to model back in the day. Uh, she lived between London and Paris, and I was a makeup artist, and so we used to travel all over together. And how do you infuse glamour in your presentations in terms of the way that you make food? Well, I think it's very important to think about color and texture, what you serve the food on, all the surroundings, get the atmosphere right with music and lighting. Right. You look at sitting down to a meal like a performance. Well, you see, I look at cooking as a performance. I mean, I grew up in a family where my mother is an artist, my right. daughter is an artist, my ex-husband is a musician. Food was just my medium for being creative. I paint with flavor. Do you, uh, is there any one particular kind of food that you tend to gravitate towards to, or do you tend to be pretty non-denominational, all over the world, sort of, kind of, global sort of I, It depends on my, my mood. I mean, I do like global food. I like different cuisines. I like to mix it up a little bit and do a little fusion, you know, make, my, make up my own recipes, right. my, joining it all together myself. Um, but I also like comfort food a great deal. So okay. I do a lot of soups and stews and things now, like that. Certainly, you know, the thing about Julianne and I, because we, we kind of came from this world of fashion and music and working in these worlds, we certainly grew up with our share of a very unhealthy lifestyle and the way that people live. <laughs> You're struggling for answers and you're reaching out for help in regard to how to live a healthier life. Just like alcohol and drug addiction, it's the same with food. When people are struggling to find a healthier life, they come to you to provide them with menus that you, you prepare for them based on their needs and, and a healthier lifestyle. Is that correct? Well, I have a lot of experience from all my years in modeling and having to watch every calorie that went into my mouth. Which, by the way, it's not healthy the way these girls live. Like, no, but, but there is a healthy way to do it, which is to learn how to make the foods that you like with less fat, okay. with, with less salt. You know, there's a way to tone it down, kick up the spice, keep the flavor. You don't sacrifice flavor, you're just sacrificing the things that are possibly not going to make you look your best, or feel your best, Absolutely. or be your best health-wise. So, how did you end up from the extreme of being, uh, you know, living in Paris and living in London and coming, moving to Los Angeles and, and, and morphing into this amazing person that now is creating a healthy lifestyle for people. Well, I think that there's a lot of different aspects to people's personalities. And yes, there's a part of me that loves to be glamorous, that loves to get dressed up and go to some That's for sure. black tie gala. I also, there's a part of me, I'm a Midwestern girl, and there's a part of me at heart that wants to be nourishing and, and okay. taking care of people. And, and you're doing very good. You do and I'm a well. mommy, first most, and forever. Your idea of taking very good care of me was calling room service. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> well, that was after 10 bottles of Cristal Rosé. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I forgot. That is what you drank, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Oh, you weren't cheap. All right. Thank you for coming, and we hope that you can join us again. And check out uh, Julianne's blog. And she... Jules from the Roving Stove. Perfect, and I think that'll be easy to find and uh, hit her up and make your comments. She posts a lot of really great recipes, so that is an enticement as well to go to, to go to her blog because she comes up with some great stuff, and there's usually little antidotes that go in between the recipes. All right, so have a great day. I'm here in sunny California. I hope wherever you are, it's not raining. <laughs> Bye. Bye.